Hey, welcome to Vegetarian Kitchen. My name is Arnie, and um, spring is springing. Spring has sprung. This is uh, one of my favorite times of year. What I want to do tonight is show you how to make a spring dinner with um, a lot of the things that are in season this time of year. Scallions, asparagus, fresh greens, different things. One thing about spring is that, um, you know, sometimes I think when you're uh, the urban and suburban lifestyle we live, I think sometimes we get a little bit out of touch with the seasons, but when you're cooking, and cooking a lot, cooking for a living, you know what's in season, what's available, what isn't available, so you're kind of a little bit held in touch with that. And um, I've noticed that a lot of things that are in season this time of year have a, a tonic, almost like a pick-me-up effect. I don't know. I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to show you how to make a, uh, a spring green salad with goat cheese crostini, okay? So the first thing I'll do is I want to get my goat cheese here, okay? A little bit of rosemary, all right? And what I want to do is I'm going to mix the, this cheese and the rosemary, maybe a little fresh ground pepper, and I'm going to take a little bit of bread, okay? This is what I'll do. All right, you see this bread? I'm going to cut this into thin rounds, okay, maybe a quarter inch thick, all right? We'll make uh, half a dozen. All right, now, now I'll set these, just let these set here. And I take this chef cheese. Chef cheese is a goat cheese. It's a soft um, goat cheese. It has a fairly mild flavor, but distinctive Mm, that goat cheese flavor is just, you know, you can't get it with anything else. So uh, I have a little bit of ground rosemary here. A lot of times I use a whole rosemary. But this, you can, if you have whole rosemary, just put it in your coffee grinder, hit it for a few seconds, make a ground rosemary, okay? Half a teaspoon. Okay, I'll mix it right in to the goat cheese. And see how soft it is? See how that mixes in there? All right, rosemary and goat cheese, splendid combination. Can't beat it. Okay, so mix that in. That's pretty good. See how nice and smooth that is? I have about two ounces of this chef cheese here, and I take a little bit of fresh pepper just to liven it up a little bit, you know? You don't need any salt in this. The cheese itself is fairly salty. Okay, so what I want to do is I take this bread and I spread a little bit of cheese on the bread. Thin, thin layer, okay? Just do that. It's real quick. I'm going to serve these crostini with the salad. And you can make these ahead of time. It's easy to do. They store really well. You can put them into a airtight container, you know, refrigerate them. And then just pop them in the oven a few minutes before, whoa, a few minutes before you serve it. All right, so I have my baking tray. Pop these right on there. All right, I'll just come over to the oven. 350 degree oven. Maybe 15 minutes or so. All right. Easy. Easy stuff to make. Okay, so I have some romaine lettuce, which is one of my favorites. What I like about romaine lettuce, it stays crisp. It's really crisp. It's a good, it's a good lettuce to have. But this, I've already I've thoroughly washed this. I've taken off some of the leaves that are um, more or less wilted. Some of the, see? See, it's got a little spot there. A couple of little spots. You can use that maybe uh, for yourself, not for your guests, okay? It's not bad, it's just not perfect. And since, um, you know, we want perfection, we're gonna get it. All right, so I have a few leaves, okay? So what I wanna do is just real, I'll do this by hand, you know, I just wanna tear them into chunks, you know, discard, set aside the, the stems, all right? Just tear it into, Good size pieces. OK. 
Okay. Red pepper. Red pepper is not really a springtime thing, but I want it in there for color and for flavor. All right. So here's your... Just take a few little red pepper slices. You can see. Slice them up. I want to keep them in a fairly large size. All right. And I have some mixed spring greens here. This is a mixture of radicchio, a little bit of uh, mizuno. You can get the oak leaf lettuce. They call these now, they call them field greens. You know what's good in the spring? If you can take a little bit of bitterness early in the spring before the flower buds appear, find yourself some uh, dandelions. Okay, if your lawn's like mine used to be before I sold my house, dandelions everywhere. You don't have to look too hard. So, um, we'll try some of these, these vegetables right here. This is a real simple salad, okay? And then what I want to do is just put these, all of these greens and this red pepper. No, the red pepper I want to hold aside, okay? Use that more or less for a garnish. I'll just put them into a bowl, set these aside. Make a salad dressing, simple salad dressing. Take some olive oil, about a oh, quarter cup, quarter cup of olive oil, okay? This is balsamic vinegar. See how nice and dark that is? Beautiful. Okay, it has a really nice flavor. And I want to take a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Okay, a little bit of salt, some more of my fresh pepper, and I have here some ground sage, all right? So I'm going to take half a teaspoon of ground sage. Now I'm just going to stir this up real quick. You know what else I want to do? Just a tiny bit of sugar quarter teaspoon of sugar just to take some of the uh, vinegar or the acid bite out of this what I also had in mind and what I'll do on another show I'm going to show you how to make more salads of course one thing that's a real real good combination is balsamic vinegar and strawberries so actually what you could do with this dressing the reason I'm not doing it is to have a strawberry dessert but um, you can take in your blender or your food processor, put a strawberry in when you make this dressing. Blend it up. It adds color and it adds excellent flavor. If you do that, leave out the sugar. Okay, so now I've got everything dissolved. I put in enough just to moisten up the lettuce leaves, okay? Maybe a little more than a tablespoon. And I will just mix these up, okay? Real lightly. All right. And what you want for this salad dressing is you want you want this dressing to enhance the flavor of the greens and the vegetables, but not you don't want them to be overpowered. Okay. So then we'll just take and arrange a little bit of color here. All right. And now. This may be a little premature, but I'm going to get these crostini out of the oven. 